But one role that I can announce, however, is who I intend to appoint as my Deputy Prime Minister. I am delighted to announce that I intend to appoint Carmel Cipolloni to that role. Carmel is an outstanding minister. She has overseen a period where record numbers of New Zealanders have been moving off welfare and into work. During her time as a minister, she's overseen the administration of the wage subsidy scheme that ensured many Kiwi businesses were able to stay afloat during the global pandemic, whilst also ensuring that our welfare system treats people with respect and with dignity. Carmel will be the first Pacifica person to hold the position of Deputy Prime Minister. And as a proud Westie, I can't think of a better sidekick for a Prime Minister from the hut. Kelvin Davis continues as the Deputy Leader of the New Zealand Labour Party. As a team, we are ready to crack into it, and I intend to hit the ground running. So, to the week. Tomorrow I'll be in Auckland to undertake the weekly morning media round, and in the afternoon I'll be meeting with ministers about prior policy reprioritisation. On Tuesday I'll be attending the annual Rasana celebrations alongside Jacinda Ardern. This will be her last formal engagement as Prime Minister. On Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday morning, I'll be officially sworn in as Prime Minister, and in the afternoon I'll chair my first Cabinet meeting and hold my first post-Cabinet post -cabinet press conference in the afternoon. On Thursday, I intend to be in Auckland to meet with business and community leaders to listen to first hand to, listen first -hand to the issues most pressing our largest city. And on Friday, I'll continue to meet with ministers to go over the reshuffle that will be announced the following week. I am incredibly proud of our government. We care about New Zealanders. We're experienced and battle-hardened and ready to take on the next round of challenges that our country faces. The current global economic conditions do demand a refocus, and I intend to provide that. But we don't need a change of heart. We need to apply the heart that we already have to the things that matter most to Kiwis, and that is exactly what we will be doing. I'm now going to hand over to Carmel, who has a few remarks, and then we will certainly open up for your questions. Thanks, Chris, and uh, acknowledging everyone that's here and, and watching. Uh, first, I just want to acknowledge you, Chris, uh, for uh, taking up this position uh, and acknowledge the fact that all of your caucus, including me, uh, believe in you and know that you will be an exceptional Prime Minister. Um, secondly, I just want to acknowledge um, the fact that you've made the decision to choose me as your deputy. Uh, that shows a great deal of confidence and belief. Uh, and I want to uh, just express my absolute commitment to Chris as the next Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, I will be there backing Chris up every step of the way and doing whatever he needs me to do. Um, I'm very humbled to have been chosen by Chris and supported by my colleagues to take on this very important role. Uh, it is very hard to fathom that a working class girl from Waitara who turned Westie, uh, that that person can become the Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, and now I get to back up the boy from the hut in that role. Uh, I want to acknowledge the significance uh, of this for our Pacific community. Uh, I am proudly Samoan, Tongan and New Zealand European and represent generations of New Zealanders with mixed heritage. Uh, it is a huge honour and privilege to uh, be offered this role and I take this as seriously as I have taken any other role that I've undertaken across the course of my career. Uh, as Deputy Prime Minister, I will continue to be focused on what I always have been focused on, and that is serving our communities in whānau and Aotearoa, and I will do that to the best of my ability. Uh, I want to acknowledge too, as, as Chris has done, uh, the outgoing Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister uh, they are big shoes to fill, uh, but we have the backing of our caucus to step into those shoes, and I look forward to doing the mahi.